take a look at the final stats of game four. Philadelphia wins 112 to 108. They shoot 50% from the floor. Nets got to the free throw line, but they once again lose the rebounding battle. They were minus 14 there. Just 14 turnovers with 14 points off those turnovers. So they kept that down, but the Sixers hold on. They win by four. Time now to head back out to Barkley Center. Welcome in our announcers. I and Eagle Sarah Kustak, Richard Jefferson. Another great call out of you guys on this game four. Nets gave them everything today, Bird, but they, they just fall short. Yeah, certainly disappointment here for the Brooklyn Nets, considering that they had a chance to really change the whole scope of this series. They get a win here, pressure goes back to Philadelphia, and now they're not going to experience that. Now the Sixers feel like they have a chance to close it out. I think if you ask the Nets before the game, you have a lead late. It's Mike Scott shooting a three from the corner off a scramble. They probably would have taken that situation and run with it. But Scott makes a big shot for the Sixers. Yeah, despite the numbers, especially that Joel Embiid or Ben Simmons had, I think overall the Nets did a very good job in executing their defensive game plan. They looked much quicker and better in their rotations. And to your point, too, at the end of the game, we saw some big shot making by D'Angelo Russell, by Karis LeVert, Joe Harris with a strong layup. There was a lot of positives to take out of that finish, but just a few of those things for as good as they took care of the basketball. Yep. Throughout the course of the game, there was some untimely turnovers that ended up hurting them. The rebound battle, uh, and it's really dominated early on, and then Philadelphia was able to start to have their way on the glass. So it is a small margin of error when you're playing against a team like the 76ers, and it just wasn't enough here tonight. Yeah, and you look at from top to bottom, everyone contributed. Yes, Joe Harris is struggling a little bit from three, but this is your first playoff series. You're going to have those ups and downs, but you talked about that, Mike Scott. You had Joe Harris come over. The ball gets bobbled it ends up in Mike Scott's hands he knocks it down then on the other side you have Jared Allen catch the ball gets bobbled and ends up with a steal that's how small the 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 opportunities like are in the in these spaces where you can't make mistakes and really you know the Nets just made one too many mistakes the the turnover on the out of bounds play so yep. if you look at I think it was like two out of their last three possessions they had turnovers in the crucial moments so that's just difficult to overcome against that team